Have you ever seen North Korean submarines? These curiously have a greenish color greatly contrasting with the color of the sea. As you probably know, the paint on submarines tends to be a very dark blue, or directly black in color. And this makes a lot of sense because submarines usually dive to depths between 400 and 500 meters starting from 200. At a depth of 200 meters, you are in the aphotic zone. So from 200 meters deep, only 1% of sunlight penetrates below the photic zone. The color it's painted doesn't matter. Your submarine won't be visible at all, but when these submarines are at depths below 200 meters where the sunlight... Yes, it does reflect on them, the dark blue or black camouflage makes a lot of sense. But then if that's the case, why did North Korea decide to paint their submarines green? What sense does this make? Does North Korea want their submarines to be seen at great depths by the enemy? In this video, we will talk about the paintings of the submarines, and of course, we will give an answer to this very curious question. Back in the 30s, American submarines were a silvery grey color. This was very useful as it was intended for them to camouflage very well in the fog and stormy weather on the surface since they spent a lot of time there. But by the end of the 30s, they realized that submarines were easily detectable by planes and even at medium depths. In 1945, multiple tests were conducted that confirmed that the ideal color for a submarine was black. This did not deteriorate as much as the color blue and was fantastic for camouflage. The black camouflage turned out to be very useful and greatly increased the survival of submarines, as in those years submarines still needed to spend long periods of time at low depths and even on the surface, but with technological improvements in submarine autonomy. These can now spend days at really high depths, only surfacing to refuel oxygen, while nuclear submarines can spend months submerged without problems. Nowadays the most modern submarines are black, but because they use rubber tiles with small holes that absorb both the noise from the inside and also distort the waves emitted by enemy sonars, their color is purposely pigmented with carbon black, a powdered material that is derived from petroleum. This has properties to resist pressure changes and noise absorption. The camouflage of submarines is one of those things that even though they are not as effective as before, it is better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. But as we mentioned, the case of North Korean submarines is quite peculiar because they have a paint that contrasts greatly with the dark blue color of the sea. A green submarine like the North Koreans in a conventional sea would be seen at great depth from the surface due to the contrasting green color. But the seas surrounding North Korea are really not common at all. As we know, North Korea is located on a peninsula and its two coasts are not connected. And as you may know, right below North Korea is its worst enemy, South Korea. So for a North Korean ship to get from one coast to another, it must go around enemy territory. And this is a problem because in the event of a battle, the fleet from the west coast could not support the fleet from the east coast. On the west coast of Korea is the Yellow Sea. Mm. The Yellow Sea is relatively safe for North Korea because China is a great ally of North Korea and it is on the other side. The waters of the Yellow Sea are particular, they are very turbulent and not very deep. The Yellow River, which dumps millions of kilograms of sediment into the sea every day, makes the seawater vary between turquoise and a curious brown. The North Korean fleet of the Yellow Sea is not so notable since this area is relatively safe from possible attackers. But this is not the case on the east coast of North Korea in the East Sea. North Korea has two major declared adversaries, Japan and South Korea. This is a very deep sea, so the North Korean submarine fleet is much more present on this side. Interestingly, in the East Sea, the warm waters from the south converge with the cold waters from the north, causing the waters of the East Sea to be at an ideal temperature for the growth of plankton. This makes the East Sea have a greenish tone, so to camouflage, the North Korean submarines are of a greenish tone suitable for the East Sea, as well as to camouflage well in the Yellow Sea. The North Korean submarines have many shades of green with some types of camouflage patterns, and usually only the top part of these is green while the color red predominates. We've discussed the color green, now let's talk about the color red from underneath the submarines. Actually, the color red 
Underneath the submarines is something that has been general in all ships for almost the entire 20th century for a long time until now. Ships are painted with a paint with iron oxide at the bottom of the ship. This gives a lot of resistance to the ship to salt water as well as to the microorganisms that usually degrade the metal in North Korea. We can see a wide variety of submarines. The Yugo class of small submarines is an example of these which only 8 were built or also the Sano class which is the most predominant in the North Korean submarine fleet. The Sano operate in shallow waters at a depth of about 150 meters deep, so their camouflage is extremely useful. Originally, 41 had been built, but one of these was captured by South Korea on September 18, 1996, when a Sano-class submarine was abandoned on the coast of the South Korean city of Gangneo. The sailors hid in the city with the aim of assassinating Kim jong Sang, the president of South Korea. At that time, the largest submarines in service in North Korea are the Romeo class, which are 20 diesel and electric submarines built between 1950 and 57 and 1961 in the Soviet Union, and were quickly phased out of production to prioritize submarines that had nuclear technology. Those of the Romeo class were transferred to China and North Korea, as well as the production of the same continued in those countries. The last Romeo was built in North Korea in 1990, and five in general standards these submarines are really obsolete. These operate much of their patrol on the surface, and this is where the importance of their camouflage stands out. They are slow, they have a maximum speed of 28 km per hour, while American submarines can reach about 46 km per hour, Certainly in the same way they can be considered a threat. For the enemies of that nation, the North Korean submarine fleet is one of the largest in the world, with a total of 70 submarines in service. But really all these submarines are very old from the Soviet era and these are also quite outdated. Several of these can launch ballistic missiles. Despite this, as we mentioned, these submarines are still a threat to the current ships of the Japanese and South Korean fleets. With this video, you already know why submarines are black, red, or even green, as is the case with North Korean submarines. Thank you very much for this video, and see you in the next one. Goodbye, goodbye.